I'll just start. I'm Maura Sullivan. I'm the Director of Government Affairs and Health Policy for the Arc of Mass. And I'm also a parent. I have two sons with autism and some complex medical. And um, so my advocacy is definitely professional and personal. Um, and I'll just pass it off. I'll pass it to Jonathan. He can say hi. Uh, hello, my name is Jonathan Ghana, like Maura said, uh, well, without the Ghana part. I am a 20-year-old self-advocate cancer survivor who happens to have autism, and I am the official ambassador for Operation House Call. And I'll move it on to uh, Kathleen. Jonathan, Jonathan's got something important to say. Uh, yes. Uh, actually, before all of this stuff that I mentioned beforehand, I was actually a skills trainer myself for two young men with uh, who happen to have autism themselves. So I know the importance of giving the quality care as well as receiving the quality care since I have a mentor myself who I cherish and, and I try to pay him for what I believe he's worth. But this bill reminded me of something while I was thinking about it. Uh, there was a time uh, in during my cancer journey that I actually needed someone to come to my house to give me fluids. Uh, my doctors were racking their brains because they couldn't find anyone in the area that could access my port in my chest to, uh, to give me uh, the fluid that I needed. So, one of the nurses who I am still internally grateful for stood up and said, I'll do it. Since I live nearby, it'd be pretty easy or something like that. And after they confirmed it with everyone and they brought it to us, we were like, are you sure you want to do this? And we were like, yeah. Uh, and they were like, yeah, of course we want to do this. Uh, well, they want to do this. And they came out every single time I needed fluids after my treatments with, uh, with the chemo and all that stuff. And it's just one of those things that I just wish I could give back in some type of way for them. And I hope that this uh, can help uh, help with anything like that. So uh, thank That's you. That's an amazing story, Jonathan. That wasn't home care. That was voluntary nursing because uh, they couldn't find someone to do it. But, yeah, like I'm so glad you were able to get help, but I'm sure there are lots of people who, you know, wouldn't happen to have that outstanding nurse that just yeah. So yeah, that's why it's yeah. that's why it's important to get past this honestly. Like hopefully uh hopefully it can get past and people don't have to hope to God that there's one nice nurse out there for this or uh or anything like that. Like maybe there is like one percent but all that other stuff has to be taken into care of. So uh so please uh think about that if you consider helping with the spell. Important. And I just wanted to make sure Jonathan got to talk to you a little bit about the criminal justice bills and, and your concerns. All right. Uh, I'll make this uh, quick since I don't, since we only have like three minutes left. So yeah. uh, I am here to talk about the criminal justice bill. This bill is important to me because I believe that everyone deserves to have the right supports in their lives, including all interest or interactions with the justice system, excuse me. I ask for your support to pass uh, the 911 uh, Community Crisis Responders Act of 2023, HR 1423, and to support the Lead Interactive Safety uh, Interaction Act bill when it is reintroduced by Senator Cassie and Representative Wild. As a person with a disability, I, f I know uh, firsthand about discrimination. But I ask for this support so everyone is supported as human beings with uh, no discrimination of any kind. Too many people are being hurt and or killed due to a lack of training and understanding. This is clearly not okay and goes against my vision of helping others any way I can. By collecting information about how police work with people with disabilities, we can gather the information that is necessary to understand the needs of people with disabilities and how people like me can receive the support they need from law enforcement. With a greater understanding and funding for people with disabilities, we could have fully funded uh, community respite uh, centers that everyone could call to get the appropriate help when needed more training for our law enforcement, including those that are answering the calls through the uh, 988 crisis prevention hotline on people with disabilities will greatly improve inclusion in each of our communities. When I had cancer, my mom and my dad drove me to our 
district police station in the middle of the night because I needed an ambulance. There was too much focus on the fact that I was autistic over someone that was in so much pain that I thought I was having a heart attack. I was lucky my mom and dad were able to advocate for me so that I could get the medical attention I needed. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jonathan.